Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here at the Dalesford Spa Country Railway and I'm here with my good mate Oscar and we're just visiting the tourist railway. Hello, already been here a few times, but looking forward to the day. Should be good, riding some trains. Yeah, I'm keen, boss. Yeah, Go. sweet. Let's get into the video. Roll the intro. <laughs> The Dalesford Tourist Railway runs between Dalesford Station and Ballado Station. This railway runs on a former line which branches off from the Bendigo Line. Branching off at Karlsruhe, the line ran to Dalesford and was opened in two sections in 1880. The first section of the line opened between Karlsruhe and Trentham on the 16th of February in 1880. The second section of the line to Dalesford was opened in March of the same year. The line from Karlsruhe to Dalesford was one of the two branches that ran to Dalesford Station. The second line was a line running to North Creswick on the Mildura Line where the Ballarat to Dalesford Railway Line branched off to the northeast. The main produce that was carried on the line was potatoes and firewood and the line closed in the 1970s. But on the 27th of June in 1980, the Central Highlands Tourist Railway, otherwise known as CHTR, was formed and the long task of restoring the railway to operating condition had begun. CHTR began running tourist services a short distance into the Wombat Forest from Dalesford, eventually reaching Musk in the early 1990s and Ballada in the same year just later on. The line between Musk and Ballada reopened on the 17th of March 1997 and in 2002 the name of the railway became the Dalesford Spa Country Railway. And once again, sharing his beautiful photography of the Victorian Railways is Andrew Cook. Thank you so much for sharing your photos with us. We love to see it. And if you guys want to see more of his work, then check out his Instagram at andrewcook356 on Instagram. So give his page a like, a follow, and check out his photos. All right, let's check out what the tourist railway looks like today. This is Dalesford Station at the start of the tourist railway. Today was also the Dalesford Market and it was buzzing with activity. Lots of people, lots of stands and lots of stalls to buy things. It made for a great atmosphere here at the Tourist Railway as well. Let's take a look inside the station building. The station building is very well kept and renovated and it looks really good. There's quite a few things to look at inside the display cases as well. Such as these different variations of the Walker rail motors and other railway items used back in the day. Wait a minute, that's not HO scale. And in one of the other glass cabinets is actually an IDR derm. I've got to get me one of those and some other models and some other artifacts used for the railway as well. There's another model of a Y class, some drinks, some merchandise, and this is also where you can buy your tickets. There's some nice stuff you can get here, including some books with some photography, some railway history, and some postcards as well. There's also these little pictures you can get, and I had no idea that it snowed up here. That's awesome. Definitely going to come back to the railway when it's snowing. All right, we are on the main platform at Dalesford. Let's take a look at what other good stuff they have here. In the station sidings is a 280 horsepower Walker rail motor and a HZ wagon as well. Wonder if we'll get to see this running one day. There's another wagon just behind that, some railway trolleys, and some railway buffers. In the goods platform siding, we have three B vans and a very long wagon. If anybody knows any information about that, then leave a comment below for me. Looking a little bit out of place is this PTV N carriage, which is sitting here in the siding. Dalesford being one of a few railways to have acquired an N set. In front of the goods shed, we also have this little railway crane and this cute little box thing and some other really cool pieces of rolling stock such as a water tanker and some cattle or sheep wagons as well. And we can walk down the other side of the goods platform and keep walking to see some other pieces of rolling stock as well as the other side of the goods shed too. And here we have the Dalesford turntable looking really well and still in operational condition. And on that line we have a Victorian Railways Louver van and a couple of GY wagons. So after having a bit of an explore, it's time to get on the train. The DRC pulls into Dalesford Station.
the DRC or diesel railcar was operated here in Victoria on the country branch lines. They were built in New South Wales and featured steel and aluminium construction. They were in service from 1971 to 1994. All four of these DRCs have made it today. Two of them are in Newport workshops, one of them is here at Dalesford and the other is at the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. With air conditioning and comfortable seats, we were very happy. We also made a new friend named Charlie as this train is dog friendly. The tourist railway here is dog friendly so your dog can get on the train and enjoy a trip down to Ballada or Musk and come back and enjoy the day. The trip that we're on is the 1215 to Ballada so it should be a one hour round trip. Just a couple of minutes and not very far out of Dalesford Station, you can see the railway alignment which would have taken you to North Creswick, branching off to the right. Maybe in the future, we'll take a look at that line. But let's keep enjoying the beautiful scenery out here in Dalesford. As we pass on through the level crossing, we are now at Musk Station. There's not too much to see here, as you can see there's a couple of levers there, there's a small station building and a station name, but this is one of the stops that you can go to on a 45 minute round trip and back to Dalesford Station, but we are pressing on to see Ballada Station and the newly refurbished station building that they've got there. So let's keep on going down the line. This is Ballado Station, originally opened in 1880 and closed in 1978. This station has recently been refurbished and it looks spectacular. It's so cool seeing an old station, but brand new with fresh paint and fresh signs and even fresh posters from back in the day. It really is amazing and it's a great spot to come to when you're on the tourist railway and enjoy the views, the scenery and kind of stepping back in time into you know what it was back in the day and, and you really feel that being here at this station specifically. So definitely a really cool atmosphere and experience. All right, well, it's time to go back to Dalesford, but let's do it in style. Being cab side for the return trip, we are on the other end, but we still get a pretty cool view of the railway regardless. So let's go on back to Dalesford. And as we begin to get closer to Dalesford, I just want to thank the staff here at the Dalesford Tourist Railway for being so friendly and allowing us to have this beautiful railway experience. That was the Dalesford Spa Country Tourist Railway. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I'll leave a link to all my social media in the description below and check out Andrew Cook's page for his photography as well and to Oscar's Instagram and YouTube. We will see you in the next video, everybody. Take care and peace.